All right. Hello, everybody. Billy Tucci here. I'm just working on a cover. It's Saturday night and I ain't got nobody. Debbie and Matthew are downstairs watching Harry Potter. And William is doing his video games. I'm in an awful way. I hope everyone is doing fine. How are you guys today? I'm taking over the crowdfunding comic stream. Hello, guys. Hello, Matt. Hello, Dwayne. Victoria, my favorite. How are you, dear? I hope everyone is having a good time. Um, just sitting here chilling, man. I got to do this cover. Uh, see if we're... Uh, if we got a little frozen action here with um, with my other computer. Yep, we lost it. I got StreamYard quitting out. Uh, so I might um, end up... Just uh, doing it on one stream and just switching cameras. So you have to see my stupid face anyway. Not that anybody wants to see that. But uh, it's just getting a little bit annoying, you know what I mean? And I would love it to, to do this, but it just seems that my Google Chrome is quitting out on me on my computer. So I'm going to quit out of that. I'm going to add my camera over here. I probably technically could go live. Hang on. Pop that bad boy in. All right. Good to see you guys, Ravenger, Andrew J. Um, yes, yeah, so uh, it's – yeah, I know. I'm good. Been in the house three months. I know everyone has. So uh, basically I'm going to switch cameras, and uh, I'll go to cam mic. Let's see if I can do that while we're live. And I'll hit this camera, which is that one. Now I wonder if I can go multiple, and I'm going to try to play with something. I'm going to try to go – into Firefox and jump over to, to Firefox. I'm going to open Firefox up, which is here. I'm going to move that bad boy over, and I'm going to invite myself into the stream via Firefox. And if I can do that, let's see. Delete. Let's see if I, if I have a stream yard on Firefox. So I'm just finishing up this cover. This is our Rough Cut Edition cover. I'm going to grab the link. Let me grab the link here. Hang on. Command C. Uh, copy. So I'm going to throw it in here. And I think I can invite myself onto my same computer. Paste. Let's go. And if I can invite myself into StreamYard via. Uh, yeah, I can. Groovy. All right. So <laughs> that's pretty cool. So I'm inviting myself in. Oh, I'm going to have to mute myself. I'll be. Re I'll, oh, I can. I can mute. Good. So I'm going to mute my camera. Let me um, – that says Billy Tucci is not going to San Diego Comic Con, but we're going to call this one just me, good old Billy Tucci. So there goes Billy Tucci. Bam. Uh, let's switch to cam. Groovy. Oh, no, that's the camera. We're going to use that one. Yep. Okay, good. And that camera is here. So let's just do that. Good. All right. Groovy. Now let's enter the broadcast studio. So I'm going to join myself in the broadcast studio right now. This is so exciting. Uh, 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 hang on. Hang on. No problem. No problem. No problem. No problem. Not gonna be able to do it. We have to quit out. Sorry, guys. Sucks. Oh well. Well, you have to see my stupid face anyway. I'm gonna try it over here. If I can go with my uh, my laptop froze up, because sometimes it just doesn't like Streamyard. So I'll quit out of that. But anyway, so I have to draw this cover. Good to see everybody. You have to, again, you have to see my dumb face anyway. We'll switch back and forth to me, I guess. Uh, we'll switch the camera. But let me restart this computer here. And that just stinks because I had this great grand plan to uh, to go both ways. To go both ways. <laughs> to uh, to shoot, to, to film myself so I'll be a little, a little small. And I could see myself and look at look at you guys, and I could stream larger. But uh, uh, anywho, so I got to finish. This is the cover to the She Rough Cut Edition. Again, it's 
it's it's a lot off. Let's see if I can do this. It's it's a lot off. She's more probably like that, but you'll get the idea. So forgive the distortion. I can even see it from here, but let me see if the camera will let me. I could try, guys. If I lower this. Let me see. Yeah, it's gonna be it's gonna be distorted, guys. I apologize, but so I'm gonna sit here and draw. That's just what your old pal Bill Tucci's gonna do. I got a lot of work to do, so I've been doing a work working on this all day along with family stuff. Um, and I hope everyone's having a safe Memorial Day weekend. I hope you're enjoying yourself. Me, I ran a lot of errands today, did a lot of uh, work around the house, and uh, went back to this cover and drew it. Uh, it just drives me nuts that the angle is off. Hang on. I can still see how far off it is. I have to move this out. Yeah, the, I, I have, I'm sorry, guys, but the, the you, you'll get the idea. When, when it's scanned in, you'll see it, but it, it's a little off. Again, looking at the table and looking at this, it's, you know, it's more like that. But you'll get the idea, right? So, uh, so this is the cover to our she. This is going to be our last uh, before our campaign ends. We're going to do one last thing. It's called the she rough cut edition. And what the rough cut edition will be will be all of my original rough pencils. Um, and it'll be a forty-eight page black and white comic because you know all the pencils are in black and white with word balloons um, and you know caption caption boxes and everything like that. And look at this. She's turning like this. And her belly button's a little bit off. And I just, I put spray. Oh, I can erase it. Good, good. Belly button should be a little bit more over here. I'm going to add that because of the way it is. Yeah, belly button would be more like that because she's turning. You see, you know, she's got that turning motion. She's really not turning. It's just the way I drew the damn bow. And I blew that. But if we do, you know what? I'm going to do it kind of in the middle of it. So let's just do that. I'm going to try to stream back because it's funny just sitting there talking and not. And that's not that low. The belly button's higher. It'll be about here. It'll be about here. All right. Let's see. I'm going to go in. I'm in Chrome. Let's see if I can add myself to, to Chrome Stream. Uh, StreamYard. I'm going to StreamYard. I'm going to try to join in myself. Let me get the other camera, which I think... Is this camera or is the camera? The camera. Okay, it's me. I'll try to move myself over and try to add myself to the broadcast so I can be small in there. I've got my computer muted, right? I am muted. I'm going to enter the broadcast studio. I'm not going to restore. We'll see how it goes, if it works or not. Uh, using my really old trusty Statemuller mechanical pencil. I got three of them I'm using. This one, this is, a, uh, this is not as old, obviously. And then my handy dandy, if you guys can see this, it's my Beryl Prismacolor. And uh, I started doing this cover, and you're going to see a, a, a pencil die. This has been playing with these for a long time. Uh, and what I like about it, because it gives a nice song, it's like you're inking with pencil, and the pencils really just melt on the art table. So uh, let me jump in here. Billy Tucci. Oh. I'm going to enter the broadcast studio, and let's see. I'm going to mute myself first. Enter. Kapoom. Here I am. Let's add the Tucci monster to the picture. There I am. All right, guys, I don't know how long this is going to last. Uh, hopefully it won't freeze up. But uh, looks like we're doing good, so I can see you guys. Hey, Heronberg, how are you, brother? It, 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 yeah, well, it's going to move in and out of focus because of that, but it'll it'll get caught up with it. So I've been watching uh, – what else? I've been working on here. Debbie cooked some be wonderful venison of a deer that I had gotten, uh, that I had uh, taken in the fall. And it was just – oh, just beautiful, beautiful organic meat that has no, you know, no additives, no – Stuff free range. Um, took them with the bow. So, uh, 
very satisfying to do that and say a little prayer before you eat, thanking the animal for the sacrifice. This is gonna keep this shop wicked shop. So uh, now I got on Facebook. Hey guys, hey, how you doing, everybody out there on Facebook? So I am streaming on crowdfunding comics, the Billy and the uh, and the Facebook page, our, our Facebook crowdfunding comics page, and my Facebook crowdfunding comics, uh, my my Facebook page. I mean the Pop XP. We're no longer the uh, crowdfunding comics, even though we that's our main focus, and we do crowdfunding comic shows every week. But uh, because we're expanding. Um, and, and doing, you know, interviewing, you know, um, mainstream artists, uh, people in, in television, people in Hollywood retailers, uh, you know, we had Steve Jeppe on, we had Josh Jeppe on yesterday that, um, you know, people are like, well, you know, we'd invite someone on the show and they're like, well, I don't have a, I don't have an Indiegogo. I don't have a Kickstarter. So, uh, um, so we're like, yeah, you know, it's, it's kind of weird that, you know, it's kind of, why would I go on a crowdfunding stream? Uh, you know, we want to get people from other YouTube channels and stuff like that to talk, you know, talk about their channels. And um, so that hence that's what the, hence the name change and why we went with that. And it looks like it's been working out pretty good. Blevins. Good to see you, Blevins. How are you? Hey, Blevins, you want to join me in the studio? I don't know if, if we have three people, if we'll make the she drawing smaller. I want to keep it big. But uh Anyway, so this is coming out nice. I don't know, Blevins, if you want to come on in. Let me see if I have to invite you or you can just come on in. Blevins is one of our uh, one of our partners on crowdfunding comics. <laughs> Steve Peros watched the uh, Bad News Bears. When I was a kid, everyone said I looked just like Tanner from the Bad News Bears. And sorry about that. I'm, bl I'm bled out with the light, uh, but I got to draw. So I got to do that. Hang on. Everyone said I looked just like him when I was a kid, period. L-O-L. L-O-L. It's actually L-O-F. That's the real way to say it. What about the other two? Oh. Um, I think we might win it. Oh, the Mets. My friends are watching the Mets 86 uh, game six uh, <laughs> World Series. They're like, I think we're going to win this one. Because of quarantine, there's no baseball, so everybody's watching the you know the streams. And my neighbors are, they're all Met fans. My some of them are Debbie and I are Yankee fans, but our the, the the block is predominantly Met fans. So this is a fun thing when you work with 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 things pencils like this. It's it's the hey Re, hey uh, Renee, good to see you, Joel Adams, my brother. How are you, Joel? Good to see you, Jason. Good to see you, pal. Sanchez Cabron. Probably just an e-reboot. Yeah, that's what I did. I, I needed to reboot, buddy. And I did. So it's it's working now. Um, let's see if I had the three of us. I can make the one big. Blevins, come in the studio with me. Let me call my pal Brian Blevins. Hang on. I don't know if I could send him a link. I don't know where he is. But uh, Blevins can hang with me. <laughs> I almost got into a fight yesterday morning with Matthew at the pier with some dude. I'll call you about it tomorrow. At the, yeah. Okay. I was sort of a rambunctious child, big mouth that I was. So is my audio coming in okay? I believe my audio is looking good. My levels are all working. Uh, again, the angle is off, guys. Please remember, the, this is not the real angle of the, the final angle of the art. I also had to put the art table down, which I like to draw up, but I can't do the camera unless I have it behind me or something, and that's just going to cause problems for everybody. But so here's the story. with the, Here's the gist with this cat, with this, uh, let me see, Blevins. The heck is Blevins? Blevins. Fanboy Blevins. We need fanboy Blevins in. Join me in the studio, period. I don't know if I have to send him the link, which I most likely have to do. So let's copy that and send Blevins into the studio. I don't know if Blevins is on an iPhone. And message him. I don't think he is. I think Blevins has an Android or something. Yep, he's not on Messenger. 
I'll, I'll send him an email. And maybe he can join me. I know where Frank Amazing is tonight. Niall Scala is putting together lawn furniture. I talked to Niall a little while ago. Let me tag Blevins. You know, if you guys want, I could play some cool little... Oh, I can't because I muted my, my camera. I muted my, my thing. I was going to play some good... Uh, some old ragtime. Here's Brian Blevins. Link. Let's see if he joins me. Emailed it. All right. So Blum's gonna so basically what this is is that this is our rough cut edition, and the cover itself is gonna be a rough cut. So what you have is I have my original. This is the rough, and this and we're gonna actually sell that this is gonna be a package, it's gonna be our biggest package for the campaign and our final one. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna sell all 48 page roughs. Plus the rough. Now, so this is how my roughs are really rough. As I said, I draw them really rough, even though the ones for Return of the Warrior are pretty tight. Um, and then I put on the light box and then I just start working away, cleaning it up and drawing it and erasing and stuff like that. And and I think I got her face down nice. I think she's really pretty. And uh, so that's that. But what we're going to do is if you see this big swoosh here, Brian Miller's going to color it. I'm going to get it to Brian a little bit. There he is. I draw them really rough, even though the ones that return the warrior are free. Hey, how's it going? How's it going, sir? Good to see you, buddy. Yeah, Glad good to see you. Too. How uh, how goes it? Well, I figured I'd do an impromptu uh, finish this cover live. Why not? You know, share it with the channel, and and uh, so that's what I'm doing. No and, doubt. and I just did it. I just jumped. I just said, you know, I'm gonna make a video about 10:30, <laughs> and I set a schedule. Um, but I'm glad you popped in. So yeah, was, uh, I'm I explaining, it. Yeah, I'm explaining to everybody. See, this is going to be a, basically a black and white cover or, or pretty much it's maybe blue line when it's printed, but the blue lines, this swoosh right here is her breaking is, is all going to be in color. So this will all be in color, almost like a, um, you know, it's a rough cut. So she's slashing yeah. through it. You know, and make it and make it rough. So this part will be in color, and then this probably blue or maybe sepia. I'll see Brian. Brian's a you know Brian's a genius, so I'll leave it up to him. Right, Brian Miller, and uh, I think it'd be kind of fun. But this is the last cover, Blevins. I was just telling everybody that we're going to offer this cover, the rough, if you saw it and heard it. You know, this cover and the rough, and then forty-eight other pages, the rough pages, all in one portfolio, and then this book. Is going to be one final. It's it's called the She Rough, Rough Cut Edition, and um, it's a forty-eight page black and white book. It's going to be limited, I think, to three hundred copies only, and uh, and then that'll be it for the campaign. Yeah, I thought that was a great idea when you mentioned it. Like, you know, that you're like, man, maybe I should offer a rough cut edition. Dude, I and, love uh, it. It's pretty awesome how you like. You're like, man, I'm just going to make it happen. I love the roughs. I love the way the roughs look. I really do. I love the roughs. Well, you, know, you have so probably you have probably some of the most detailed roughs out there, though. I mean, like other people don't have as detailed a rough as you do. Well, you, you know, also when you, you do that. on pencils, right? You got to have the roughs pretty. You know, and I'll never forgive myself for throwing away all the Sergeant Rock roughs because I draw them on eleven by seventeen Xerox paper like this, and the Sergeant Rock book. You know, and if just the Sergeant Rock roughs look like finished pages, and then I had to really clean them up because I was do, doing them with pencil, you know? Yeah. And the cool thing about pencils is is with technology the way it is now is that you don't need um, – you, you really don't – I mean, of course, inks, inking is its own art and its own work, but you don't have to ink – part because part of Return of the Warrior is inked. The dream sequence is inked. Um, but the rest of it is a, uh, is, you know, just cleaned up detailed finished pencils. So, uh, but the thing with what's cool about technology is that you don't have to do inks if you don't want to. And what I love about the pencils, like all this is going to come out. It, it looks like watercolor when you, when you get, have it digitally colored. I just love the way it looks the old fashioned way with, I don't know, the offset, whatever they, however they call the printing, um, you needed that black line or it would, it, you couldn't reproduce it. You know, yeah. So this you know, works. 
when uh when I lived in South Carolina, uh, I lived in Columbia, and in Columbia they had they had a couple of comic book artists, uh, but there was an anchor that did you know you know that I'm a that I'm a big Valiant fan, yeah, and, uh, and I was working at I was working at Best Buy. And this guy came in, and uh, he was looking for a computer system, and he told me his name is Greg Adams. And I was like, man, you know, like, one of my favorite inkers in comic books, his name is Greg Adams. And he's, <laughs> like, and he's like, yeah, that's me. And I'm like, I'm like, all right, you know, whatever. You're like, you what? Turn up? Say what? Are you like, what? Yeah, because, I mean, like, how small of a world is that? Yeah, uh, you know, and he was he was hot off of uh, you know he did Thunderbolts there for a while, and then he was uh, he was really hot because he did all the stuff with uh, Quantum and Woody. You know, the the goat was a big thing, and I never read Quantum and Woody. I just know that everyone like I remember Tony Bedard loved it. Yeah, and um, and and um, who worked for, like a couple of guys that worked for us. Well, Tony Bedard worked for Valiant. He was an editor. Um, but he, I, I don't know if he was an editor on that, but they, they all love that book. I remember him, um, a couple of the guys that work with us. I'm like, I don't know what that is. <laughs> yeah. I but, still, when I think of Quantum and Witty, I think of, um, what's the show that, uh, with Pickle Rick. Uh, Rick and Morty. <laughs> yeah. That's what I Whenever I get Quantum and Woody, cause I've never even seen the book. I just think of Pickle Rick. Every time I see Pickle Rick, I'm like, oh, I wonder if that's just, if Quantum and Woody is like that. <laughs> yeah. He, uh, I mean, he did so much stuff, and I and I asked him if I could come. Like, uh, oh, so he went out to his car, and he gave me a page of Quantum and Woody. No, yes, yes, gave me one of the pages that he did, and I was blown away. We we actually became pretty good friends. Um, you know, he did a he did another book with a uh, with another artist by the name of Sanford Green, who also lived yeah. in, who also lived in. Uh, I know Sanford. Yeah, cause he's great. I, I sold Sanford all of his Apple computer stuff because after I left Best Buy, I, I worked for this place called Visual Graphics, and and they sold uh, Apple computer stuff. But I went to his I went to his house and got to see his studio, and he he had all these um, you know, the old school big uh, you know, twelve inch uh, or ten inch, twelve inch uh, GI Joes and stuff. Oh yeah, like he, would, he would do all these dioramas and stuff. And um, but anyway, I watched him ink uh, a Silver Surfer page, right? And uh, I mean, like I'm I'm looking at you, I'm looking at you draw this, and you know it's it's pretty incredible. But you know he inked with a brush and stuff, and I and I watched him ink, and it was so there's so much work that goes into it, and people just don't even understand. Like they don't understand how much work goes into this, and you're looking at the time. You know they're getting paid, you know, hundred, hundred fifty bucks a page or whatever at the time. You yeah, know, yeah, and that's good now. They're not getting. No one's getting paid that much. Yeah, now. yeah, uh, and uh, went a, far, a lot longer, a lot longer way than now. And that's why I tell everybody: do your own books. Right. Publish your own stuff. Blevins, when's your book coming out? Uh, I don't know. I still am. Uh, I got to send it over to JC Vaughn to get him to edit it. Yeah, let's like, get uh, going, think, buddy. I'm not gonna lie; I think it came out really well, of course. But I have a, you know, I'm biased. So, are you gonna be too big for us then when it's a huge hit? <laughs> God, Jesus, no! And you're on no. everyone's YouTube shows and stuff. No, I'll never be. I'll never too, be too big time. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> never will I be big time. Ah, no, don't say that. Uh, Can't. But think yeah, that like. Way. Yeah, I mean, like this. Uh, I mean, all these things that are that are coming out, like all the you know, all the people that have been reaching out to be uh, to be on the show. You know, there's a lot of mainstream people that are reaching out now, but you know, still keeping with the whole you know reason that you created the you know you and I created the show, like was to give these you know independent people a voice and and get their work out. Man, yeah. the work just continues to get better and better, and I. I mean, it blows me away the talent of all these people. So, isn't it? Yeah. And all the original ideas that are on Indiegogo and Kickstarter and stuff—it's—it's it's wild. I yeah, I don't. I know you probably have heard this story, but you remember like the guy at the patent office? Like this is like a billion years ago. He's like, "Well, I guess I'm gonna need to close the patent office down." And they're like, "Why?" And he's like, "Because every idea that has ever been thought of has finally been done." You know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You know? It's like, come on, bro. Dude, I, that is far yeah. from the truth. That is far from the truth. 
Yeah. Anybody can do their own book, you know, anyone. You see a lot of people, you know, that, that a year ago wouldn't even have the guts to do their own comics, and now they're making them. And, it's, it's, and the industry will be better for it. And I love it that you go directly to the, to the fans, you know what I mean, directly to the customer. And then once you get your book done, and this is my plan with She, our plan, is to once we're done with, with the She going through, you know, in 2021, we go back to, you know, we'll have these books in Diamond. But they'll be broken up in individual issues, but we'll give them guaranteed ship dates, and it'll give us a good time. You know, it'll it'll give us a chance to compete with the big two, because it's so hard, it's so competitive out there. You know. Well, I think yeah, that um, you know those. I mean, you know, size wise, they're 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 huge. You know, and that's how the retailers get their make their bread and butter. So there's got to be a way to 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 compete, and that's it. This is the way. You know, offer things like that. Well, this this may be a weird way of looking at it, but you know, like the, uh, you know, the virus and shutting everything down, like re it reset the whole, <clears throat> it reset the whole race. Yeah, and uh, and you know, like the the big, you know, I won't even say the big three, the big three, like they had to they had to stop running. Yes, and and you know, like so the race had already began, but they had to stop completely running. But all the independent people like yourself and, and uh, you know, EBS and Doug to Naple and all them, like they just got to keep they just got to keep going. Oh, yeah. You know, so it's actually the, the big three that are going to be having to play catch up. Yeah. Yep. And, uh, actually, some, guy, some guy on Twitter actually said, you know, um, I had said something like, you know, we're we're not pencils. And he, and he even said he gets triggered buy it when i said it's pencils up here there's no pencils down here and he got upset about it <laughs> you know and it's like what what well just, i mean is it is he know. somebody is he was he even somebody in the industry or was no, he just okay, a keyboard just warrior a yeah I threw in and then it, it was it had something to do with darwin with his birthday and and uh and then marcia darwin's wife came in and said listen you know you know we're family you know i consider you know marcia family you know and don't tell me, you know, don't tell, you know, Billy what he, what, you know, he was assuming, uh, uh, he was making some kind of weird assumption of what I was, what message I was trying to get at. And I was like, what? It's, it's amazing. You get these nuts out there and they've got, now they've got a, a voice, you know, and everyone deserves a voice. Let's be honest. But, you know, if you, if you, if you say something stupid, you also deserve to get called out on it. Word, my brother. Yeah, I hear you. I hear you. It's a yeah. It's a yeah, Vaughn would say it's a privilege, not a right. <laughs> yeah, especially on 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 uh, you know, I mean, no, I mean, you know, on on like something like Twitter or something. But right. it is also, you know, you could say it's a right, but it's also everyone else's right to call you a dumbass when you're a dumbass. Right. And your boy Bill Tucci ain't got time for dumbasses, home. Nope. Right? Nope. Like Blevins, Blevins, throw you through a window, man. Dude, I mean, Billy, like, you know, you, I, I know you haven't told me everything, but I mean, you've, you've told me some things you have that you want to do coming down the pipe and stuff. And man, like these people just have no idea how much you're about to start killing the game. Oh <laughs> yeah, I know, I know. Well, I got, we got the, 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 what I'm really excited, obviously for she, and we'll start fulfilling it in June, um, which is, I'm so excited about that. Is uh, but also with with through dynamite now, you know, the, I'm Fury. part of a dynamite campaign. It's not my campaign, it's dynamites, obviously, but it's Miss Fury, the Joy Division, and Maria, Maria Laura Sanapo has the um, is you know, the artist on it. And oh my god, I'm writing the script, and it, it is, just, I am just so proud, I'm so over the moon with her work. Uh, I think this book's gonna blow people away, I know it will, and you know, it. it you know, talking to, to June Tarpe Mills's family and getting their blessing. It's just been, it, it's been an incredible, incredible experience. And for those of you who don't know Miss Fury, she is the, um, she's the original Catwoman. She debuted in 1941 and she actually uh, hit the stand six months before Wonder Woman did. And she's also the first comic character created by, published comic character created by a woman. Can't say it's the first comic character created by a woman because you, you never know what never got published. And uh, it was a huge hit, groundbreaking, fearless, you know? 
Yeah. Um, just how she had Marla Drake as a single mother. And this is 1940s, you know, during the war and stuff. But how she fights, you know, gangsters and and mad scientists and, and Nazis. And there's this big battle with, you know, Nazis. And our book is going to have all that. We're bringing back all the original characters. So I'm real psyched, man. I'm psyched. <laughs> Oh. Did you did you watch uh did you watch The Hunters? Not Hunters? yet. No, not yet. That's a show like um you know because I I I I've been you know here at the art table, so it's tough yeah. to watch shows. So I just been watching Westworld because I really want to watch The Hunters because that's what I I that's the stuff I love, you know. Yeah, yeah. I, this yeah. is this is no spoiler alert, you know. This is not a spoiler thing, it's just something for you to keep an eye out, right? Yeah. When uh the the main character works at a comic book store. Oh, really? Yeah. And I am, you know, I didn't, uh, I mean, I don't want you, I don't want you to think negative of me, but I, I didn't know anything about Miss Fury until you started getting involved and I started doing the research of it. Yeah. But, know. um, but, uh, in the, in the comic book store, I believe that there's a poster of Miss Fury up in the comic book store. Really? I believe so. Oh, Blevins, you um, my interest. Now I'm going to have to. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm... What years it take place? Is it in the 80s or something? Uh, I don't know. Oh, no, it's not in the 80s. <laughs> what year? Is it the 70s? Yeah. Did the... Uh, did... <laughs> I'm asking my good, my good friend Google. Oh, it takes place... <laughs> Takes place in 1977. Awesome. Yeah, there you go. The yeah. year the year I was born. So, yeah, because you got to have them, you know those those Nazis alive for them to hunt them. You can't have it now because I mean, yeah, but that's that's an, alive now. Very few. Yeah, that's another reason why I'm pretty sure that that's you know that that's the uh, you know the poster because you know the whole things about you know hunting Nazis. You know, that's awesome, dude. Yeah. They so you have to. So you have to look and let you have to look and let me know whenever you watch it if that's uh, if that's what the poster is. Oh yeah, what is it always? In, is it in every episode or is it in in, in, uh, in every in every episode that they go into the comic book store? Yeah, yeah. I didn't know if that's where they meet. So is who's the leader of it? Who's the leader of the hunters group? Yeah, the hunters. Uh, you mean the actor, or are you yeah. talking about the yeah, the actor? It's, it's it's Al Pacino. That's right, Pacino, and he works. Yeah. Does he own the comic shop? No, just, no, you know, not at all, not at all. So, uh, so the comic book shop is owned by the main character's best friend, and uh, the 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 kid basically his name is Jonah, and uh, so Jonah's best friend owns the comic book shop. Oh, okay, and uh, and he also works at it, and uh, you know, lots of. Uh, Lots of very colorful words and stuff being said, but uh, the 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 main bad guy, uh, his name's Travis, like uh, played by almost not? I want to say played almost by a relative unknown actor by the name of Greg Austin. Like he does the most incredible job that I have ever seen of someone that's just you know a, a sociopath, you know. Oh really? And uh, man, it's it's to the point where it's scary how calm and collected, you know, the person is. Like it's a man, it's just a great show. And then, of course, I mean, it's Amazon. They, you know, they put their little spin on it, and yeah, it was. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. Well, I have um, I, I again, I love Westworld, and yeah. uh, it's just badass, man. I I just I love it. <clears throat> I'm watching yeah. that. I don't know how many episodes there are uh, in the in the um, season three, but I'm on episode yeah. three. I just started watching it to that tonight. Yeah, isn't there? Or, isn't there like eight? Just like there is all the other. Oh yeah, but I don't know if we're up to it yet. Just because I just started it. Oh, but then I, I watch. Um, what the hell we watch on? Oh, we watch Billions too. Nice. So that's our thing. Is is Debbie and I like to watch Billions on Sunday nights. Yeah, I liked uh, I liked Westworld. Of course, I liked Westworld anyway. Like you know, the old school Yul Brenner. You know, that's you know the old what? What? Levens, you surprised. dude. I grew I grew up with that man. Logan, dude, that? Logan's, Logan's run for the longest time. Logan's run. Yeah, Logan's run was 
one of my favorite one of my favorite uh, sci-fi was actually my favorite sci-fi show growing up until I saw Flash Gordon. Ooh. But um, yeah, yeah, absolutely. But but um, yeah, man, Westworld with Yul Brenner, Yul Brenner was incredible. You know, my dad is a huge um, is a huge westerns guy. Okay. Know? So. So man, like growing up, like we used to watch all the westerns and stuff, and uh, I mean, Yul Brenner was like the man. Yeah, you know? he was there's John John Wayne and Yul Brenner, you know, and uh, you know, Magnificent Seven. Uh, you know, like yeah. he was he was incredible in, and uh, yeah, man. Did you terrifying though? Wasn't he as that robot? Oh, hundred percent! I was like, "Oh my he, god!" He had that. He had that. That dead eyes look. Anyway. Yep. You know. What is Yul Brenner? Where is is he Hungarian or something? Um, I know really Charlie Bronson is. Uh, I think he's Polish. Yeah, Charles Char, Charles Bron Charles Bronson is Polish. I think Yul Brenner might be Hungarian or something like that. Man, like um, Turkish or Hungarian? I don't know. Yeah, I don't I don't remember where he was uh I don't know where he was born at. Uh, I think he was born here. Oh no, that's right, he has an accent. Yeah, he has a deep accent. Deep yeah. accent. So he was he was born in Russia. Oh Russia, so he's and Russia. Vladivostok. Uh from a, where from, oh, that's from from Morskaya that. Oblast. Far Eastern Republic. Yeah, that's all the way uh, by Alaska. Yeah, that's all the way. That's that's where the Bering Strait, you know, separates U.S. from Alaska is up by there. That was a big, po you know, that that port was a big part of the uh, the, the Russo-Japanese War too. Yeah. When, and when, did, when did Yul Brenner come here? Come to the country? Um, please stand by. Let's see here. And by so we got a cool little Japanese woodblock print behind it. I love drawing those things, and then the rice eaten paper. I sent Jeff Vaughn. Uh, in 1934, he was taken to Paris, and then uh, he was uh, he traveled to the U.S. in 1941 with his acting teacher, Michael Chekhov, and he toured the country until he got his uh. First work in television, Mr. Jones and His Neighbors. Ah, yes. Yeah. No, I, don't, I never seen Mr. Jones and His Neighbors. I've never seen that either. I got nothing. You've never seen that one, Robbins? I no, think no, definitely not. Definitely not, Mr. Yeah, definitely not. But, um, you know, it was so crazy. He was so good in Westworld. Yeah. Uh, you know, they tried to they tried to redo that with Future World. And Future World, it wasn't, it wasn't, the, same. It wasn't the same, you know? Yeah, I hear you, bro. What's up, Artie Sanchez? Good to see you, brother. William Harvish, good to see you. Carmen, oh, my big sister. How are you, honey? Old Bean. Yes, Microsoft Word to your mother. Old Bean, I sent you a link. Join the stream. Join us. Said Join Microsoft. us. Join us. Microsoft Word to your mother. Yeah, that's Jeff Owen's been saying that for 30 years. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> Maybe not 30 because I don't know if that was Microsoft Word 30 years ago. All right, so yeah, this is coming out nice. So this is gonna be a fun cover. Yeah, I mean, dude, it's incredible. Worth the price of admission alone for this cover. Definitely. A lot of a uh, lot of love and hours went into that. Yes, sir. Yes, sir, indeed. You know, though, I I, I love the energy of my roughs. You know, and sometimes I feel like you know, I just like even I can see that her arm was down here a little more. Maybe I should have lowered it like that one. I raised it a little bit, but it, it gave it more action. Yeah. But, uh, and I moved her over. You know, I play with it. You know, I, I go like that and I move her head around and stuff. But I just love the energy of this. It just seems so alive. You know, my gesture drawings and all. Yeah. Let's get that big old butt. Yes. And someone said, is that from having kids? Like, yes. <laughs> poor what children do to a poor woman, you know, to women's bodies. Well, because we don't understand the hell they go through, these women. Nope. And our mothers. And love your mothers. So, um, all right. Let's see. 
Let's Man, see. who's that holding the stick back behind her? What? What? Oh, that's a, it's a woodblock print of oh. a samurai. Yeah, it's a samurai yeah. woodblock print. So I just I just I, I just noticed that when you turned it, like the the glare kind of went off of it, and I saw that I was like, oh, what's that? Yeah, it's the samurai behind. Oh, I see the foot now down the bottom. Yeah, it's his foot, and it's yeah. a spooky actor actually. Let's take it from a print. I gotta clean all this up. This is gonna be a lot of work. I'm gonna spray this right quick. So uh, give me a second. People are gonna be like, where did he go? I kind of like that. It adds a nice little texture to the paper. You know, it makes it look kind of like the woodblock print paper. The worm-eaten rice paper. That's what it is, actually. Where's my brush? I got a brush to clean my table. All right. Let me just clean this up nicely, and then I'm going to spray it. I'll be gone for a second as I spray it. With some workable fix in it, but I gotta do that outside. So I'll go out in my little balcony. I have a little balcony on the my on the in my in my studio here. It's like its own little little balcony. I could step out into it, and it's nice. You ever you ever accidentally drop a piece of art while you're out there? No, nah, I never do that. Hey, it could happen. It could, like when the wind's blowing. All right, be right back. Two seconds. Two seconds. Okay, here I am. All righty then. Give a second to I really like how this cover's coming out. I think it's coming out really nice. It's definitely gorgeous. If I do say so myself. That camera is working. Let's see if anyone's people are talking. I have I'm I'm on like a whole bunch of pages, so I don't know what oh, anyone's saying. But here we yeah, are. Uh, I'm I messaged you on I said uh Billy on Facebook and then I came over to YouTube and did I, didn't really want, I didn't know anyone was gonna, was gonna be around. That's why I'd be like, "Hey, I'm gonna go live." <laughs> Did JC Vaughn pop in yet? No, nope, uh, he hasn't got. Let me see if he text if he emailed me back or texted me. I texted him. Let's see. And I love uh, Ooga da Booga. <laughs> That's what he said. I don't know what that means. Um, well, Blevin, So when you start doing some shows here on on crowdfunding comics, what's uh, your subject gonna be? We gonna talk games? We gonna talk movies? Yeah, I thought um, you know, uh back when I did back when I did the streaming, like uh I was thinking that maybe, you know, maybe I might do some some live game streaming, um, you know, some video game reviews, maybe even some retro video game reviews, like cuz I have I have tons of cool amazing stuff. Um you know, not to mention the the comic book reviews. Yeah. Um did Nile talk to you about the top five? No, what's that? T do tell. So, uh, so we thought every every month we'd do a uh, Pop XP top five, where uh, every week on Monday we reveal our top five of whatever the uh, the format is or whatever the genre is of the month. So, right. like this next month will be, um, you know, our top five sci-fi movies. So the first Monday we do our number five, and then the next Monday we do number four, then three, then two, then one. And on the months that have, you know, only four, the very first episode will have um, our number five and number four. But uh, they'll be recorded shows that we just record and then, you know, set them to set them to go out to let people know. And, you know, with, with it being pop culture, I mean, there's so many different things we do, like, Top five comic book artists, you know, top five, uh, one hit wonders. Yeah. Top five fast food restaurants, you know, like, you know, there's so many different things that we can do for top five. So yeah. I love it. Yeah. Yeah. I talked with uh, him about that today and hopefully, hopefully it'll be something that'll be, uh, be pretty good that, you know, can just be recorded and then, 
you know, put out there. And, you know, I mean, it'll be something quick, like a little 15 minute video that everybody can watch. Yeah. You know, um, but I'd like to see a lot more of, of that kind of stuff. And then. Unless I'm just going looking for my pencil here. What is a pencil I just used? Come on, I want to use one pencil per pi per piece of art. I don't want to switch up my pencils, man. That's the whole point. Is because the pencil dies, right? It's like right. But see, but it's called it's death of a pencil. But when it finishes, what you do, it, it's like a chrysalis, you know? It right. It turns into a butterfly and lives forever <laughs> as art. It's like it becomes smaller as you use its power for creation. It, yes, yes. And the smaller it gets, the, the, the more wonderful it gets. The, the, more, you know, the more power is and the more your image comes to life. Yes. But the thing, too, is that when I'm finished the pencil, I want to be finished with the art. Now, if I start with a whole new pe pencil, I'm going to be here for a heck, of a, lot, a heck of a lot longer and then overwork it, as Debbie says, I always end up doing the thing. How's so, it going, Apex Comics? Apex, what's up? Yeah, James Allen, good to see you. Top five comic strip artists. Love it. Yeah, so, Jim. Yes, Keith. This is a cover, just real quick, if I may, for those just joining us. This is the cover to the She. It debuts next week. It's our final um, uh, perk for the Indiegogo for the campaign, and it's it's a rough cut edition. So it's going to be a forty-eight page comic book featuring all the roughs with word balloons of the um, of She Return of the Warrior before we end the campaign. We start soliciting and uh, start start fulfilling in June. No, Blevins, I guess I can't find it there, fanboy Blevins. Let me check my table in case I put it over here where I write. Nope, it's somewhere. Oh, well. Oh, well. Okay, sarah, sarah. Start a new pencil. This will just be part of something else. And now I got to get on my darn commissions. I, I, I still owe like 10 commissions. I owe you commissions. And I apologize for that. Dude, there's no need to apologize. I already yeah, told you. Sure. I already told you. Keep throwing me on the back burner because I'm getting them out. I to totally, yeah, I totally am getting them out. But that's why I'm not taking any, and that's why I'm, I'm so glad. This, you know, not, not glad, but it's kind of a blessing for me in a way that the co conventions have been canceled. For, you know, for the most part. I'm hoping um, Terrificon though. It, well, they said they're opening Mohegan Sun. So we'll see how that goes. That's a great show. It's a great, great show. And and I don't know about New York, but hopefully Baltimore will be open uh, for October. Uh, I think we're going to, to Denver um, in the uh, November for Denver Comic Con. We'll see. Well, uh, I'm selling I'm selling the arcade this week. Are you? Yeah, yeah, I'm selling the arcade this week, so uh, I won't have that. I won't have that looming over me, and I'll probably be able to to do a lot more traveling now. So, well, you're gonna have to come. Who's that? I am. Hey, I'm Will. Say hello, buddy. Hi. Nice. I love you, buddy. I'm William. Bye. Bye. I'm William. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, top five comic strips, man. Com top five comic book strip artists like that's a great one i would definitely have to have jim keith in there because you know he's the guy that uh that did flash gordon which was the best um god i mean like you gotta have bill bill waterson bill waterson that's yeah great, right? yeah that's, that's gonna be a, there's a lot of debate Calvin, you can have Charles, Calvin Hobbs. yep you can have charles schultz you could have you know, even you know Tarpe Mills with Miss Fury. You can have, you know, um, you know Milton Kniff. You can have Cole Sickles who did. Um, uh, oh, jeez, why am I? Why am I? You can have the uh, Joe Desries. Joe Desries was pretty incredible. He did. He, he did Batman. Oh, okay, okay, yeah, that's a good one. Who the hell did that? Let me see. Why am I? It's late, Scala. Uh, Levin, it's late. It's all good. Noel Sickles. Yeah, Scorchy. Scorchy Smith. So it's Noel Sickles. I don't know why I said cold. Hang on, then I got the, the King. Where's that book? I have literally 
hundreds and hundreds of books, which is pretty damn cool. But, I don't know, man. I think the king, though, just might have to be Harold Foster, Prince Valiant. Oh, yeah, Prince Valiant. Oh, I don't know. But then for Zeta, you know, I don't know if his work is is is, is enough, if he has a, a, a big enough body of work for that. But, you know, there's a, that's going to be a fun show. Top five cartoonists. Comic strip artists is great. Yeah, I, went, uh, I actually went to the for, – for Zeta Girls website the other day and um, you know to try to see their you know to see their canvas print collection you know they have the they have the print collection where they actually printed on stretch canvas oh nice so, so it looks like a looks like an oil painting and uh, man they have your uh, they have your she on there oh really oh really <laughs> yeah they're selling it as a uh, as a print but um I mean, like his Death Dealer and Conan work was just fascinating. Oh yeah, but his strip- he, was, he was incredible anyway. But what's that? Yeah. Oh, he, he well, was he was incredible anyway. That's what's so cool about comics is just that the how we really forged pop culture, you know, on the forefront of it and so, influenced so much. And uh, it's just, man, it's, it's, I'm so proud to be a part of this, of, of, to be, to, you know, to have a small part in this industry, you know, to, to, to be a part of it. And, and, uh, you know, just, you know, San Diego Comic Con, they, they usually have like a dinner or, or a party, which always seems to be the, you know, the old school Comic Con people. And Debbie and I, thankfully, are always invited. And we were hanging out last year with uh, Walter and Louise Simonson and, and, um, Oh, well, Dan Jurgens, uh, Brian Polito was there with Fran. It was great, you know, and a couple of like like uh, Terry Moore and Stan Sakai. A lot of the, you know, the 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 us, you know, because Comic Con has been taken over, really by you know the, by the big loud video game. You, you've never been. You got to go, Blevins. You oh, gotta, I'm, I'm going it. to. I'm going to. You got to go next year. You got to make that commitment. Well, hopefully. If- if Greenville opens up on my birthday, man, the Greenville gone. If you're going to be there and stuff, like I'm definitely going to go. I mean, I mean, I've never seen a more sign that I need to go to a convention ever. Would they reschedule it for my birthday? You know? Heck yeah, dude. Heck yeah. Yeah, I want to go to that too. Let me. I just have to see if Debbie made plans because we're, we're supposed to go on vacation because of school. But now at Williams College, because Williams in Williams is going to to college for welding. Welding, yeah. So it's not like he can do that online courses because that's what they're talking about here with the colleges. They don't know if the colleges are going to be open. Well, they are going to be open, but they're all going to be online courses, which kind of stinks if you want to go away, you know? Yeah. You know, you go to a school, you know, like, and you, and you travel to a different state. I mean, I have friends whose kids are going to, you know, Tampa, you know, and, and in the city, Manhattan, FIT and stuff. And if they're closed, that's really going to stink. Poor kids, you know. But hey, you know, maybe don't teach them. You know, life. Li- you know, life sucks. And you just got to take it by the horns. Like, take the bull by the horns. That's right. Well, Billy, Stop. let me let me ask you a crazy question. Sure, buddy. What do you uh? What do you think about this rebranding for the for the channel? Like it's been a it's been a little bit now. What do you what do you think? I think it's I love it. I just, um, you know, actually, Niall and I were talking. We just hope that people didn't leave us because it looks like we might have lost some people because they're like, what is this? We thought it was crowdfunding comics. This isn't crowdfunding comics. You know, but we felt we had to expand because, as I was saying, you know, we want to get Walter and Louis Simonson. Like, well, why would we go on crowdfunding comics? You know? Yeah. I, I believe there was... I believe that some people, you know, there has been some loss, but I mean, there's also been, been makeup for that. I mean, like we're, we're definitely trending positive. Yeah. We may, you know, we may have lost a couple of people, but uh, you know, I mean, it was people from the crowdfunding comics, but we gained a lot of the, uh, the pop culture experience people, you know? Yeah. Yeah. So. No, I think it's, I think it's smart because we want to, you know, and again, we'll always do our crowdfunding shows every week. Featuring, you know, 
established creators and 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 the real fun stuff is all the new creators coming up with stuff. Yeah, we got we got to do our Miss Fury show. Miss Fury launches on June third. That's our date right now to launch. Yeah, I need to do a lot of research. So Dynamite's gonna. Uh, there's some great books that I, I recommend anyone to get. Um, if you want to learn anything about Miss Fury, you know, is is these two and it's through IDW. They're on eBay. I mean, uh, you know, you um, this book. Let's put. You know what? Let me put this here and I'll move this. Hang on, buddy. That book. Yeah. Oh, I move this. Oh, let me switch the. Yeah, whatever. You get the idea. If I close me out real quick. Nah, I'm not going to close me out. But this book's a great book. It's called the, the Sensational Sundays. This is 1941 to 44, and then you have 44 to, to 52. And they're just, uh, she's just amazing, amazing. And, and what a trailblazer she was. And, again, you look at it, man. That's Catwoman right there. So... What you doing for the weekend, Blevins? Um, I'm getting I'm getting all this inventory together to uh, to sell this guy who's coming in to buy all of it. That so you're gonna sell all those games? Yeah, I'm gonna sell a sell a large set of uh, of all my extra retro game stuff. Like I'm still keeping like you know a set of all the Nintendo, a set of all the Super Nintendo and stuff like that. Oh, so you're selling? Oh, like so? This is not the this is not the machines. This is not the big. Oh, no, no, it's the arcades as well. Oh, it is. Okay. Yeah, and I have like um, from when I had the store, I have like twelve hundred Funko Pops that I'm selling. Dang. Yeah, it's that's crazy. It's insane. Yeah. You crazy? Twelve hundred Funko Pops. You know, there's still not a Charlie Chaplin Funko Pop. They probably couldn't get the rights to it. Well, well, yeah, maybe, I guess. You know, we approached them, and Brian Polito did, and, and uh, Brian talked to them first. And I think we, we approached them, too, and they said, well, you got to have an order of 10,000. I'm like, yeah, you ain't selling 10,000 of these pops of anything, you know, of, of, of half these things. 10,000. Yeah, and in order to get exclusives, like, um, like say that they did um, – so when they did the Flash Gordon Funko Pops, they wanted to do a Flash Gordon Rides, which is basically uh, where they 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 call the Funko Pops Rides when they have like a vehicle with them, right? Okay. So they had uh they had the the Flash Gordon on Rocket Cycle that they were going to do, and I was like I was like that sounds incredible. Like what's that? And they're you know. They're like, yeah, in order to get an exclusive of the rides, you have to buy like 25,000 of them. Yeah. And, and they they're, they're just. And, and they wanted, you know, they wanted like 12 bucks a piece on them. And I'm just like, Jesus. You know? Yeah. No, they, 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 they have real bad business practices with that. Yeah. I was like, I was like, really you know, I love a lot of customers. Yeah. I'm like, I love Flash Gordon, but I don't. Love Flash Gordon. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know. <laughs> I mean, I'll just uh, you know, I have I have these uh, fifty-five inch TVs that I have mounted up on the wall, and I have them, I have them cycle through movie posters. Like I have the movie posters done, so like I have all these different movie posters up there. I, a lot of them, God, I mean, there's so many like Lord of the Rings posters. I probably need to delete some of them because every time I look at it, it seems like there's a Lord of the Rings poster cycling through. But, uh, <laughs> but yeah, like, uh, I mean, when you see that stuff flick through, I mean, just, I mean, think of how many different genres of stuff they have. I mean, they have He Man, She Ra, uh, you know, ever the Office, Westworld. Uh, all the CW shows, all the, I mean, they have everything. I mean, they can, they can make a character for anybody and they all relatively look the same. Yeah. I know. And uh, it kind of blows, it kind of blows me away how much money they must be making. I mean, oh, it's, yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's insane. Well, that's why they like that. Okay. You want to do an exclusive? You need it, you know, 10,000 or something. Yeah. 
And it's like, you gotta be kidding. You're not selling 10,000 of, you know, uh, of, uh, what's we call from the office, you know, of, of Michael from the office. I'm sorry. You're not. And they are some of the other ones. Cause there's some pretty obscure ones, you know? Yeah. Well, they keep adding the, they keep adding the, the limited edition ones. Like, like, you know, like the jaws with the bloody mouth. Yeah. Yep. Um, yeah. Yeah. Crazy. Right. Well, and know, I told you, I told you, I've been on a laser disc kick. I've been buying a bunch of laser discs. Oh, I know. I don't know. I don't, I don't know what. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> oh, excuse me. Wow, it's late. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I got up at seven. All energy. I'm like, Dad, wake up. I'm trying to get everybody up. Nobody would get up with me. Tomorrow, I got to do a lot. I got my little Billy Do list. Billy like, Do. I got to do. I got to I got to look for my thatching rake. So then I got to do some thatching. I got to soil, I got to seed, and I got to run the run the uh sprinklers. I got these rosettes. We have an old Victorian so I have to fix the rosettes. The two rosettes popped out. So I got a, one of them broken half. So I got to fix that. I got to trim one down and I'll be up on the ladder and then I got to cut this big branch in the back that's covering the lawn. We got a little we had a little water stain. We had a little leak in the ceiling in the kitchen. So there's a little stain. So I got to paint that. I got to ride my motorcycle and chest the tires because we have the parade for Monday, the Memorial Day parade. Yeah, you have to ride your motorcycle. I'm doing air quotes. Well, I yeah, got no, to we honor, now we got to honor the veterans, man. We're gonna go. We're gonna you know ride through town, my my little town here, and then we're gonna go um uh to the uh to the Vietnam Veterans uh, Memorial. Are you gonna go pro it up like pro you did up. last time you went riding your bike? Oh, I should. Yeah, I saw that video, man. It was pretty yeah, awesome. I gotta, I gotta get that bad boy up. I gotta get the 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 Blevins Media Center GoPro. Heck yeah! Even think about that, Holmes. Yeah, so I gotta put, that, put it out, that put it out there. I'm just the ideas guy, man. That's all it is. I'm just That's the ideas guy. Idea guy. It's so funny because I wear it on my head and I look at the the gray kazoo. <laughs> the gray kazoo from Flintstones. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> nice. So, all right. You know what? I think this is done, guys. I signed Dude, it. Looks, it looks gorgeous for Robert sure. Robert Levins, it is good to see you. This book, uh, I'm going to send this off tomorrow morning to High Fi to get colored. Uh, and it'll debut next week, probably Wednesday or Thursday. I'm not sure what day. When I guess when he's done with the cover. And uh, I want to thank everyone for joining us tonight. Levins, thank you for coming on with me, pal. It's so good. Dude, it's anytime. to read alone. And uh, I hope everyone has a very safe and happy Memorial Day. And, uh, bro, I'll talk to you tomorrow, Blevins, all right? Yes, sir. You have you have an absolutely incredible uh, holiday weekend as well. I know you're going to work the whole weekend, though, because you can't. Man, you, you definitely need to go fishing again. You need to go do that one more time. I do. I think I'm going to go fishing. Um, we'll see, Matthew. Maybe go Monday morning. Yeah, yeah. Monday morning. Yeah. yeah. Doc Monday, unless we're gonna go out in the boat or something. My buddy go on my buddy's boat. But uh if not, you know, yeah, I should take a day off. I don't I don't have any damn days off. But I got I got some more work to do. So I got Miss Fury stuff I gotta do and for the return of the warrior. So I got some work to left on that. And uh oh a lot of work, brother. A lot of work. Yes, sir. Uh, all right. Well, everyone have a great day. Have a great holiday. Please remember the Memorial Day is a day of remembrance. Enjoy your friends, your family, uh, but also, you know, remember our fallen heroes and uh, the veterans who did come back but uh, who have left us. And uh, I want to thank you all. Brother Blevins, of course, this was wonderful spending some time with you, pal. Dude, thanks for having me on. Are you kidding me, man? Again, it's better than being alone. <laughs> now, now, this is what I do. I see something like that. Oh, i got to fix that. But i got to keep these sharp. That's the problem with this is that it doesn't stay sharp. Because it's so soft. And you can go real black with it, with the pencils. But this one, I'm just going to keep it nice and clean because I just love the way. It's, it might be my favorite cover the whole damn campaign, brother. Yeah. I think it is. I think it's really beautiful. So, um, what's that? I want to go up here. I just love her face. I really do. Dude, I, can't, I can't wait for the book. Like, I want to know what happens. Dude. <laughs> Dr. Blevins to the rescue, man. Dude, Dr. Blevins, what's up? Dr. Blevins, what's up? Yes, thank Dr. you for getting that level. <laughs> Dr. Blevins, Dr. Blevins. 
It's not just saying. Doctor Blevins. Doctor. Mm -hmm. That was one of the greatest things I've ever seen when I saw that. I was like, oh my god, that's so great. All right, I'm just adding some things here, and I'm gonna play with it too much. All right, everyone, have a great, great night, Blevins. God love you, brother. All right. You later, sir. You tell your family I said hello. Got everyone out there. Shay, Apex Comic, James Allen, of course. Good to see you, man. Salute. Heron Berg, of course. Always see good seeing you. Michael Kellison, good to see you. John Velarde, what's up, brother? My brother John Velarde out there. John did the video. You've never seen some trouble of a serious nature, our movie. And my boy John, John Velarde, man, even though we had a real Corsair, we had a lot of we had to do a lot of um, CGI, and as John doing it, we were like learning CGI in two thousand and two and two thousand and one <laughs> how to do it. And John was doing it all on his two thousand dollar IBM computer, and he did an amazing job, amazing job. So uh, uh, good to see you, John. Hey, Sherry, my next door neighbor. How you doing, neighbor? <laughs> Sherry, this howdy. Is Howdy ho, neighbor. Everyone knows what I do upstairs. I'm you know, up on the top. This is what I do all day, Sherry, and all night. Because <laughs> she's probably like, what does he do up there? What is what is what goes on up there? What's going on? I play with my toys and I and I draw. And I talk to my bro over here, the the the, the Duke of Arkansas. Duke of Arkansas. So. Man, Billy, no joke. I know you said you wanted to go, but yeah. you know that video that Jimmy and Amanda were looking for? Uh the Commercial? Yeah, the commercial or whatever it is. Yeah. Dude, the company that did that whole produ the whole post production that did all the stuff for the uh for the show and everything, like is based out of Arkansas in Springdale, Arkansas. What are the odds of that? Wow. How far is Springville from you? Uh it's only it's only about maybe two hours, but I contacted them and uh they were like, Yeah, we absolutely remember that. We absolutely remember everything, but it's it's been so long ago, we don't think we have any of that stuff, but uh, they're supposed to be looking through their archives and see if they can find me the uh, the raw video from it. So, yeah, for the, yeah, like that would be so credible if I just like got all the raw footage from it. Absolutely, that's for those of you who wanted Amanda Connor was in a commercial with um, Sergeant Slaughter <laughs> in the 80s, and then we want to find it. So, all right, my brother. This is great. I'm going to go and eat some ice cream, I think. Dude, that sounds like a great idea. Yes. And then we got to talk about, we got, man, we got to do that damn pig hunt in Arkansas. We do. We can't do it now, though. No, nah, we'll, no, nah, we'll, we'll, we'll just think about <laughs> it in the, in the fall. I'm they supposed to be going away on a deer hunt um, in the fall, but if that doesn't work out, you know, maybe we'll come down to Arkansas way. Or we could have, we could they have all that stuff winter, down right? Right now. Say what now? We could pig hunt in the winter time. We have to do it in the fall. Yeah, yeah. They have the. They just have the whole thing shut down. And I mean, uh, like that's the one in Arkansas. Like, uh, you know, my cousin runs a runs a pig uh, a pig hunt in in Tennessee. So, okay. yeah. I mean, there's. Look, if you want to kill a pig, like, well, <laughs> it could be facilitated. <laughs> there you go. That's what I like to hear. Yeah, I'd like to get to bring some bring some pork home, bring yeah. some tuna. Heck yeah. yeah! All right, I'm gonna go. All right, man. Everybody out there, have a great day. The cover's done. Here it is. I'll stay for watching, everybody. Thank you for joining uh, my partner Brian Blevins, uh, fanboy Blevins, if you will. Blevins after dark is even better. Um, Apex Comics. Billy draws great hair, and he's not finished. Yeah, I know. I'm gonna come back. Trust me. In the morning, I'm gonna look at him like, oh, let me fix that. Let me go. And do all these little lines. So I hope everyone's having a great night. Let's see. Sherry says, you draw. What? You draw and I do real estate searches for clients. <laughs> My name, she's a real estate goddess. So, all right, guys. Everyone have a great day. Here's our little cover. You guys will see this cover colored and debuted at the book on probably Thursday. It's for the She Return of the Warrior Rough Cut Edition. And we'll be offering also this cover. With the rough, and for those of you who want to know how my art starts, it starts like this. And when I draw up Levins, I'm like, oh, that looks pretty good. And then I'm like, then I put on the on the light box, I'm like, oh man, that sucks. <laughs> I gotta fix the face. And then it ends up looking like that. <laughs> and nice and clean. So mm -hmm. we're gonna be offering this book with 48 pages of uh, all my roughs and this cover. Uh will be probably Friday. We're gonna we're gonna debut that. So 
Yeah. Everyone have a great night. We hope you guys all have a very safe Memorial Day. Please remember, uh, you know, remember our fallen, our gallant fallen, and um, and our veterans who have who have uh, who have left us. So uh, everyone have a great night. Shay, good to see you. Uh, thanks, guys, for joining us. We've been on for oh an hour, hour and ten minutes. So hey, yeah. give us a like. Uh, everyone, give it, smash that like button, and um, heck. Uh, you know, uh, subscribe if you can. Please subscribe to the channel and hit the little thing for notifications. And uh, away we go. All right, Blevins, I'm going to send us out with a little – I'm going to send us out with some she stuff. That's how I'm going to send us out. Sounds great. All right. So I'm going to have a great day and talk to you guys later. Thanks. With music by Christopher Caliendo. Good night, everybody. Bye.